if you own a television or streaming device like the Mi Box, Nvidia Shield, and many others with Android TV built in, you will want to have the essential apps installed to get the best experience. Coming up, I will show you more than 20 of the top apps from the Google Play Store in various categories you should install on your device running Android TV. And we're starting right now. First up, in no particular order, is Netflix. If you just woke up from a 15-year coma, Blockbuster Video is essentially dead, thanks in part to Netflix, which is one of the most popular streaming services for watching TV shows, movies, and documentaries. It supports 4K video and HDR. On most devices, Netflix comes pre-installed. Otherwise, you can download it from the Google Play Store. With the most recent price increase, plans now start at $8.99 per month. Up next is Amazon Prime Video. While not having the same quantity of content as Netflix, Prime Video seems to be more focused on quality. Some of their original shows include The Man in the High Castle, Jack Ryan, and Sneaky Pete. After being canceled by the Sci-Fi Network, Prime is now the new home for The Expanse. If you have an Amazon Prime membership, the service is considered a benefit, giving you access to some of their content at no additional cost. If you'd prefer to get your news from more reliable sources than Twitter or Facebook, the free Haystack TV app just may be what you're looking for. It allows you to choose from a variety of topics and interests from the sources you trust the most. At this time, there are more than 100 local and international news sources for you to choose from. Haystack TV has a great layout that is almost near perfect on any TV. Hulu is another streaming service to consider with content available from ABC, NBC, Fox, and many others. They also feature originals exclusive to their service, including Castle Rock and The Handmaid's Tale. At this time, Hulu's user interface on Android TV is in major need of an update, and with their most basic plan, which is $5.99 per month, you still have to sit through ads. I find their use of the word limited when referring to ads to be quite interesting. Speaking of ads, Sony Crackle is a free ad-supported service to watch TV shows and movies. While most of their content is not the latest and greatest, their library does consist of new original content. Two of their shows worth watching with high-profile actors include Startup with Martin Freeman and The Oath starring Sean Bean. Now for something completely different. Puffin TV is a web browser that has been optimized for users of Android TV to watch videos, listen to music, and surf the internet. You can sync Puffin with your phone and create bookmarks using QR codes. Compared to a web browser you would use on a PC or on a phone, it does take some time to get familiar with it. Quite honestly, while not being perfect, it does seem that Puffin TV is moving in the right direction. If you're looking for a music streaming service, Spotify is the best we've used on Android TV. It's easy to navigate with a great looking, no fuss layout. They even offer a free tier with certain limitations and ads. If you upgrade to Spotify Premium with plans starting at $9.99 per month, ads are removed, you get unlimited skips, and you can play any song on demand. Another music streaming service we'd recommend trying out is Deezer. It offers a dedicated app for Android TV with both free and premium plans. The YouTube app is a no-brainer since it comes pre-installed with most Android TV devices. From the comfort of your couch, you can easily keep up with your favorite channels and cat videos. YouTube is Chromecast enabled. You may even find it easier to cast from your phone to this app. YouTube is free with ads. They do offer premium plans, which give you access to YouTube originals, an ad-free experience, along with their premium music service included. Of the several weather apps we've tried out, AccuWeather is our favorite. It includes a ton of information. Local forecasts for locations worldwide are displayed with the location, day and night weather forecasts, severe weather warnings, the UV index, and a whole lot more. You also get the option to display the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Pluto TV is a free must-have app if you're a cord cutter. It offers more than 100 live channels in various categories, offering TV shows, sports, news, and other programming. They also offer thousands of movies on demand. Their grid is similar to what you'd find with a cable service, showing you the programs available on each channel. I'll move through these next two quickly, as they'll both require watching tutorials to get properly set up. 
Plex is great for organizing your media, so it can be streamed to just about any device, like your phone, computer, and of course, your Android TV. And Kodi is similar to Plex for managing your media. While Plex offers a cleaner layout, Kodi is better for installing add-ons and plugins to improve its functionality. If you've never used either service, setup guides can be found by doing a quick search in your favorite search engine. If privacy is important to you, Private Internet Access is the VPN we trust the most for use with Android TV. It helps to keep your activity anonymous from your internet service provider, which is especially important if you're streaming content from an unofficial add-on for Kodi or from any other app. It's simple to use and lets you easily select the country or region that works best for you. Pricing will vary depending on your commitment. You can get it for as low as $349 per month if you pay for two years. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. If you use the gaming platform Steam, their Steam Link app enables streaming from your games library on your computer to your Android TV. You will need a good internet connection. For the best performance, Ethernet is recommended. It supports 4K resolutions with up to 60 frames per second. As an alternative to Steam Link, if you own an NVIDIA Shield, the NVIDIA Games app will be a better choice for you. In addition to your Steam library, you get access to games in your library from Epic, Uplay, and others, along with access to premium Android games. Their games app also gives you a selection of free games to play on your Shield. If you enjoy watching live streams of other people playing video games, Twitch is the must-have app for you. You can browse through their app for games being streamed at that moment. Who knows, you just might learn something new to improve your gameplay skills. Tubi TV is another ad-supported service that gives you access to TV shows and movies for the low price of $0. They now feature more than 12,000 titles to choose from, many of which are from popular studios including Paramount Pictures and MGM. CBS All Access is a newer subscription service with thousands of episodes of TV shows on demand. In addition to the back catalog of hits from the CBS network, they also offer streaming of live local NFL games and original content, including Star Trek Discovery, The Good Fight, and the most recent reboot of The Twilight Zone. At this time, their app is full of bugs that hopefully get worked out. Just like Hulu, the CBS All Access Basic Plan is $5.99 per month with limited commercials. Vudu is an on-demand service that lets you rent or buy movies and TV shows. This is a great app with more than 100,000 titles to choose from, including the latest blockbusters, some of which are available on Vudu before being released on DVD or Blu-ray. In addition to their paid content, they also offer thousands of movies for free with commercials. Many of the popular TV networks now offer an app to get caught up on a new TV series or one of their older shows, and some even offer the ability to watch live TV. There are now so many apps being offered by the various networks, it's likely you'll find the channel you're looking for in the Google Play Store. Unfortunately, some of them will require that you have a cable or satellite account. If you're looking to cut the cord and ditch your cable company, there are several apps for you to choose from offering live TV. Some of those include Sling TV, PlayStation View, Fubo TV, Philo, and YouTube TV. Depending on your tastes, it's best to investigate each service to find out which one offers the best channel lineup for you. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If there's an app that you feel should have made this list, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we release our new videos each and every Friday here on Tech Gumbo.